everybody, it's time to get growing, and I know we want our plants to look lush and big like this, but they have to start out as seedlings. I have Amy Zabo with me here from Toledo Botanical Garden. Now, Amy, we've started out with some very tiny uh, snapdragon seeds in this pot here. Mm -hmm. This is the container, and uh, also we have some nasturtiums that are a little bigger seed in this one. Yeah. How long will it take for them to pop out of the, out of the soil? Yeah, that also depends on your seed. So it's um, usually anywhere from a couple days for some of the really fast germinating ones up to weeks or even a month. Okay. So your seed packet should tell you as well how long some of those are going to take to germinate. What's the benefit of starting a plant in my own seed containers or just buying it from the greenhouse? Yeah, so you can start some different interesting things that you might not be able to purchase at mm -hmm. a greenhouse. There's so much variety and mm -hmm. greenhouses tend to have kind of the ones that you commonly see and you okay. can grow some, some new interesting things. You said that we start them out like this in these tiny containers and then they may graduate up into bigger ones. Mm -hmm. When do we know when this plant starts to grow a little bigger, when do we know when to start fertilizing? Um, you don't want to start fertilizing until it gets true leaves. So, so take a look at this one. Does it have its true leaves yet? It does not. So these leaves are called cotyledons and they are the first leaves that come up and they look different than the true leaves that the plant okay. will have for the rest of its life. This one too, right? This is still it's, its yep, beginning yep, leaf. Yep, but this one over here okay. you can see that has its true leaves on it. This looks um, like coleus. It is coleus, Woo! yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but it looks tiny, tiny baby coleus. So now that it's got its true leaves, now we can start fertilizing? Yeah, and typically we won't fertilize until we bump them up into a little bit bigger okay. size just because right. it makes it easier. But. Great advice and don't forget use little sticks to tell uh, you what kind of plant it is and what day you planted it. Yes right? a really good tip to put the date on the back of okay. your label of when you seeded it mm -hmm. that way you can um, remember and see how big it was when yeah. you plant if you want to start it sooner or later mm -hmm. the next year. Great job Amy I know that I forget what I did five minutes ago so I definitely have to have that <laughs> and that is how you get growing. <laughs>